Don't let the island catch you off guard. Buy my guns. A lot of people only got the clothes on their back here. If it ain't one of my favorite customers. What can I do you for? Dima killed Captain Avery and replaced her with a synth. Yeah, yeah, we've been over this. But do you have proof? Here's what I got. That amulet is Avery's. No doubt. And the skull? <sighs> skull could be anyone's, but... The doc. Teddy can do some sort of medical test. DNA or something. Learn whether that's Avery or not. If it checks out, you come back here. Psst. Looking for a bargain? Hey, Doc. Is this a social visit, or is something alien? Could you examine this skull, Doc? Could you tell me who it belongs to? Not something I hear every day. There are some tests I could run. Seems important to you. Hand it over. All right. This... This... This can't be. It, it's impossible, right? No. No. Avery's been dead for years now. Acadia's done rigged the game, haven't they? This proof you got there. What do you plan on doing with it? If you were in my shoes, what would you do? Have a good long drink is what I'd do first. On one hand, people need justice, and criminals need to pay. But folk can go from God-fearing to lynching awful quick. The real question, though, is what you're planning on. I want to resolve this with the least amount of collateral damage. Collateral what? Oh, uh, yes. Well, you got good instincts there. A lot of innocent blood could be spilled if this got out. Listen, I ain't telling no one nothing. If a single word got out, whatever you do, don't tell Alan Lee. Otherwise, there'll be a whole lot of blood. I was out a while, the doctor said. Talk with Alan. I don't have time for you. Sandra. Did you really do the captain's dance? Cutting carapaces is a dirty job. The pay will be worth it. Fresh shipment. I'm scraping by. I hope the harbor's being good to you. I have to go. Be well. Protect your loved ones with my fine hand. Need general supplies? Visit the bait shop. Mainlanders think the island's easy. We'll see. <laughs> hey there. Cassie Dalton says she's the oldest on the island. Bah! It's me. I will live forever. Booze for the belly or bunk for the night? Sorry, no. Or for the rest of us. You want a bite? Either Mitch or I can take your order. Ah, drown your worries in cheap booze. <laughs>
Every day. got enough backbone to stand up to the children. Did the doc look at that skull? If you got proof that Avery's been replaced, hand it here. If Avery is a synth, what will you do to her? Do to it, you mean? Take a wild guess, Mainlander. Here you go. The doc confirmed it. It's Avery's skull. I... I can't believe it. This is happening. And it's happening fucking now! Avery! Avery! Everyone! Avery, where's your locket? The one your ma gave you. Lost in a fire, you know that. Wrong. It's in a grave. Your grave. What? Alan, Just shut the hell up! We've been played! Played! Dima is killing us! Replacing us with his synths! This is not Avery! This is some machine piece of shit! I got proof. 100% certifiable proof! The real Avery is six feet under in an unmarked grave. Please! Stop him! You think the mainlander's gonna help you? He's the one that proved it. No one's gonna save you, Captain. What if the synth hasn't done anything wrong? Who knows what secret shit it's been doing for Dima. No way we could trust it again. We've got to send a message. I'm just gonna stay out of this. Good call. If you let this happen, it's the same as pulling the trigger yourself. First things first. I've been telling you for... Years we gotta do something. Time's up. We're doing it now. Grab a gun from my shop if you ain't got one. We're taking care of Acadia. Starting with that synth bastard. This ain't nothing. Uh. Like this. I'm gonna be sick. Ugh. Oh, someone should make use of it.
Hey, Sandra. Follow out. He'll see us through. And I serve those bastards in my own bar. Hey, you Mariner. You joining us? Acadia's got to pay. Hey, Doc. One way or the other, doctor's gonna be necessary. Hey, Alan. You're here. When you first came ashore, I didn't know what to make of you. But you stood your ground against Avery. Told her straight about the children and the problem. I know I run hot. I won't make no apologies. But I'm glad you were there for me. With that business with Avery. We've had our differences, to be sure. But I'm proud to stand here. With you. I'm on your side, Alan. Good. Katie has been manipulating us for years. You ready to end this? What's the plan of attack? The way I figure it, we go in there and shoot everything until it's dead. With the weapons I provided in our numbers, they don't have much of a chance. Let's storm Acadia. <laughs> I like it. You're really going through with this? If I were human, I'd be sick to my stomach. Everyone, attack! Harbormen don't go down easy.
Stop right there. No funny business. Put your hands up. that it's an option. Alan. This. This is good. This is right. You did your part in this. Well, it's over now. Good riddance. For your part in this. Here, we'll be heading back to Far Harbor. We take care of the children of Adam. Then all of this is over. And this island will go back to the way it's supposed to be. Avery's been replaced. Hand it here.
The skull belongs to someone else. False alarm. I'll keep my eyes out. If I find proof Dima's done anything to any of our people. But thanks. In the deep fog, there are things out there. deal with social interactions, okay? I can't wait to get out of here and travel. Hi. Synths and humans will all get along someday. I just know it. You're back. So, what did you find? Can we really trust Dima? Or is he hiding something? I found Dima's earliest memories. He murdered and replaced someone in Far Harbor. Then he covered it up. Even hiding the knowledge of it from himself. Damn it. I was hoping I was wrong. But I just knew there was something. Do you know why he did it? I think he just wants peace for everyone on the island. Even if it means controlling them from the shadows. So he means the best? Should we help him? Is Acadia worth saving? There's good people since here. You should head home, Kasumi. Back to the Commonwealth. I've been thinking about that, actually, but I need to see this through. There are synths here I care about. Maybe when this is over, we can talk about it again? I hope you don't mind, but I had Chase shadow you. She saw you entering and leaving the Nucleus. So, what was in my memory banks? Are we closer to resolving the conflict on this island peacefully? Your memories led me to a gravesite. You killed Captain Avery and replaced her with a synth. So you could control Far Harbor. What? That's impossible. Let me see what you found. 
I... I did it. I killed a woman from Far Harbor and replaced her. I stripped a synth's identity from her and made her an agent. Why did you do it? I needed to calm Far Harbor. A moderate voice. An example of what humanity should be. How we could exist together as equals. But I couldn't live with the memories of the blood on my hands. A human and a synth are both gone because of me. Okay. Let's be practical. How do we proceed from here? You're right. We have to focus on what has to be done now. Is that what you call justice? Because I sure don't. I'm... starting to see things more clearly. We have to keep this secret from Far Harbor. If they knew I had done this, they wouldn't destroy just me. They'd come after Arcadia, and then without us, the fog condensers will eventually fall into disrepair. Everyone will die. I... have an idea. There's still a way we can bring peace. But the fact that I've replaced a human with a synth must remain hidden. So, you did all of that on your own? No one else in Acadia is involved. What I've done goes against all of our ideals. I even hid it from myself. So, no, there can't be anyone else. Make your case to the people of Far Harbor, Dima. Let them decide. And if their judgment is to destroy Acadia? The synths I've gathered here are innocent. I'm responsible for them being here. You said you wanted human and synth kind to be equal. Well, now you have to prove it. Tell them the truth. Trust that they'll do the right thing. You're... You're right. I... We... Can't be above any other living being. When something terrible is done, there have to be repercussions. I'll go. The people of Far Harbor will have to decide what to do with me. And I will have to hope Acadia will be spared. My dear Faraday, you know there is no other option. Dima, there are always options. Don't do this. Don't... Don't leave. If atoning for my actions can keep you safe, well, I care for you all too much to do anything else. Dima, please. Be strong, Faraday. It will be all right. My job was always taking care of Dima. What is there left for me now?
My long walk is over. What's this about? People of Far Harbor, you know me. We have lived peacefully together for years. We have come to trust each other in our way. But I've betrayed that trust. And I've kept the truth from all of you. Early on, during Acadia's founding, I murdered one of your own. I replaced them with one of mine. What? Who? The identity of my agent must remain hidden. They are as much a victim in this as anyone. They will do you no further harm. I am the only one to blame. Dima's actions were deeply misguided, but he did them for the greater good. I know that's no comfort to the person whose life I took. I wanted to prove that humanity and synth could coexist, that we did not have to fear each other. But I went too far. I see that now. I only ask that you judge me and not what we built together. Allow the peace between Acadia and Far Harbor to last beyond this. Peace? You call murdering one of ours peace? I say we end this bastard and then burn his whole goddamn Acadia to the ground! Alan, enough. Dima will pay for his crime, but not Acadia. This path you want leads to murder. Cold-blooded murder. We leave them be. We'll never know if they're killing and replacing us one by one. No. We kill every last one of them, just to be sure. Who's with me? Acadia is blameless. You have your criminal here. Judge him, and him alone. You're not... even... you... God damn it. Careful. This could get out of hand real fast. Don't listen to the mainlander. My brother knows what we've got to do. See the hull? That's thanks to the mainlander. A true friend of the harbor. You going to listen to Alan's hate mongering? You even remember who did the captain's dance? Mainlander cleared my farm. Avenged my family. More than the rest of you ever did for me. What's Alan really ever done? Cause trouble. Remember who cleared the lumber mill? Remember who's given us a new chance to take back our island? I owe my life to this stranger. We should listen. Now. My uncle's safe and alive. The strangers always steered us right. Enough. I'll back down. Alan, the harbor's spoken. So this ends here, Dima. Murder's a serious crime. There's only the one punishment for it. If you have any last words, now's the time. I'm sorry. Mitch. Every homestead, town, and people has a dark side. But if we're ever to know peace, we don't let the worst of us define us. So justice has been done. And I expect everyone to respect the peace between us and Acadia. You need some firepower? I don't have time. Avery. I hope the harbor's being good to you. I have to go. Be well.
Ibrahim is gone. You found out the truth, and now he's paid for it. We did the right thing, didn't we? He killed someone. He had to answer for that. You're right. Hey, listen. So, when you first showed up, you came to get me, to bring me home. I've been thinking a lot about that. I hurt Kenji and Ray by leaving, didn't I? I could have just stayed home, pretended everything was all right, but I left them. Should I go back? They obviously still care about me, or who they think I am. They need a daughter. They deserve to have one. Everything in Acadia has been settled. I found my answers. Maybe it's time I did something for someone else. You're right, Kasumi. They need you. Go home. I will. I'll start gathering my supplies and... I'll have to say goodbye to everyone. Thanks. For... everything. Maybe I'll... see you back in the Commonwealth? Good to be home. You... you saved my daughter. Thank you. Don't thank me. Just getting the job done. I made the right decision sending you to find her. If any of you ever need help again, you know where to find us. Kasumi, does this mean... you know we're your parents, right? You're not a synth. I know, Mom. I'm sorry, I was just... So confused. I wanted to go somewhere. Anywhere. It's okay, Kasumi. You're home now. Hold on to her, Kenji. You never know when your family is going to be taken from you. I'm glad you understand. It's a terrible world out there. We only have each other. There's one last thing you and I need to discuss. Your reward for bringing my daughter home safely. We don't have much to offer, but my father traveled the Commonwealth. He had quite a collection before he died. I buried it all near the house. I'm not the explorer he was. I don't need them. I think they would be better with you. What's in this collection? Things he picked up out at sea or trading at different towns he visited. I never really sat down and looked through it all. Thank you, Kenji. You've earned it. You traveled far and back to get me answers. Thank you again. You saved my family. We won't forget that. See you around, Kenji. Goodbye, Nick. Best of luck to you and your partner in the future. Thank you for everything. We're a family again. This is how it should be.
Hey, do something for you? Hey, Valentine. In this line of work, you have to expect the unexpected. Still, I've got to admit, I've never had a case quite like Kasumi's. Really? Never? Well, there was that time I got hired by someone who'd been frozen in a vault for 200 years. That one's been a doozy so far. I'm glad things ended as well as they have. The Nakanos are a happy family again. As much as anyone around here can be. If you're heading outside the wall, you might want to stock up at Commonwealth Weaponry first. Do all you outsiders wear such funny clothes? Yeah, it's true. I got shot in the ass last year. Long story. You're back. How did everything go with the Nakano case? I tracked Kenji's daughter to a synth refuge up north near Far Harbor. She's back home, safe and sound. That's great. We don't often get to bring people good news. It's a nice change of pace. Thanks for coming in for this one. I knew something good was happening when you and Nick started working together. Don't be a stranger, Gumshoe. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're giving our friend here all the credit. Just keeping you on your toes, Nick. The skull belongs to someone else. Oh, uh, but the... uh huh. Your friend there, I'd like to speak to him. Yeah, I got a few words I want to say myself. Starting with, who the hell are you? There's only one synth with that kind of face and a mind of his own, and I only see him when I look in a mirror. Nick? It... it can't be you. Don't give me that. What are you trying to pull? I've never seen you before in my life. Please, if you're willing to give me a chance, I can explain. Is this a joke? Do you really know Nick? Let me tell you what I know, and you can judge for yourself. We were prototypes, Nick. The first synths capable of independent thinking and judgment. Keep talking. 
One of the Institute's experiments had to do with how our brains could process personality. If we could handle individualized feelings and behaviors, I was allowed to develop mine based on experience. But with you, they wanted to try transferring an entire personality into you. It took several attempts before the personality imprint worked. I saw you wake up not knowing who or what you were so many times. I couldn't let them do it to you anymore. We were the only two prototypes they made. I literally saw myself in you. You were my brother, Nick. I helped you escape the Institute. We left together. If I were your brother, I'd remember. That's where you'd be wrong. This happened over a century ago. There's... There's only so much memory that can fit into the prototype brains we have. Ah, I've heard enough. I think you and I need to talk about this. Maybe not now, though. Is it really possible that you wouldn't remember any of this? You mean between the Institute fail-safes, the beatings I've taken over the years, and plain old age? Or are you buying this hole? There's only so much room up there argument. I don't know. It's not like we've got the instruction manual. We'll talk later. This is a lot to take in. Nick, I don't need you to believe me. I'm just glad to see you again. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Hey. Go ahead. Hey, Valentine. A couple of sources saying that you were the one leading the Institute attack on the Pridwin. So, you want to tell me why you did it? Why you sided with those boogeymen? What? I figured you'd be happy seeing your old friends come out on top. I guess I'll add it to the growing list of things you've got wrong. Taking down the Brotherhood? The Railroad? All those lives lost. For what? So a group of mad scientists can keep plundering the Commonwealth to their heart's content? Is that truly the world you want to live in? I'm sorry if you're upset. But this is the world we've got now, Nick. Thanks to you. You know, since the first time we met, I'd always got the sense that you were gonna change this place. I just never expected it'd be like this. Hey. Do something for you? Nick. What? Oh, sorry. Just got my head full of what Dima was talking about. It's a bit of a shock. Who do you think he is, really? Family? Honestly? I don't know what to think, Nick. Yeah. Guess that makes two of us. I spent a long time wondering if the Institute had made any other prototypes. If I was just a failure, or they gave up, or just plain got bored. I always thought I was just more of their discarded trash. Never thought of the possibility that someone wanted me out, helped me escape. There's got to be some kind of proof out there. What really happened between me and Dima? I'd appreciate it if we could keep an eye out. What kind of proof would we be looking for? I don't know. But our best bet is to keep looking into Dima and Acadia. Of course, Nick. We'll find something. Thanks. I know we don't have much to go on. 
Just keep me in mind if you find something that might give us some answers. <laughs>